If you're reading this, you're on Tumblr. Oh no. Psst, post this cat when they least expect it. No one will ever know. My name is Detective Sleeping, and I'm about to get started on my toughest case yet. The pillowcase. New experiment. Tell children please and thank you or swear words under certain contexts and see if they become more polite. You know, that, that might actually work. 90% of doomscrollers always stop just one post before the clouds of uncertainty part and the shining bridge to the future manifests itself. The chariots, clad in shimmering gold, glide across the sky. Golden flecks of sunlight kiss the doom scrollers' pallid cheeks, returning them to a rosy hue of healthiness and mirth. Apollo stretches his hand out to them. The pain is gone. The winter has passed. Spring is carried on the backs of rabbits and the fur of honeybees. The nightmare is over. Now put the phone down. Looking through my notes app because sometimes I write creative ideas in there and... His voice was wrapped in a way he had only known spiders to be. What does this mean? That's... That's descriptive, all right. Perplexing, but descriptive. Hydrate! Be more specific. Pour water into your largest face hole. Be less specific? Yeah, it's gotta be really awkward if you're the one person surviving a massive cannonball wound. The guy next to us on this flight straight up brought a plain dodecahedron as his personal item? You guys wanna hear what the most common reply to this was? A new hand touches the beacon. Admire folks who reblog posts which contradict each other. Exactly. Keep him guessing. Objectifying men in armor will literally never get old. Like, mm mm, work it, shiny boy. Hit him with that old razzle dazzle, you fucking trash can hottie. Tucks $5 into your chorus. Throw in some gold coins at the neck opening and hear it rattling all the way down. You know, I appreciate the content warnings and understand their importance, but I can't help but giggle a little bit when I click on a FNAF fic and half the chapters have child death warnings in their notes. Sir, this is the child death game. I think I know what I'm signing up for. Entering the child death and murder fandom. Why the fuck is this place so full of child murder? The fuck do you mean, OP? Isn't Five Nights at Freddy's about a silly little murder robot trying to kill you, an adult security guard? Am I missing something? Oh. Are you in the right headspace to receive information that can possibly hurt you right now? There are three groups of fictional men I find attractive. Absolutely pathetic baby girls. Villainous men who'd never love me back, who'd pretend to love me, but use that affection to walk all over me just like they do everyone else. And fancy men in suits. I am exactly 3,527 days late with this meme. Oh. Saying ow, not because it hurts, but because it seems to be the correct thing to say at the moment, is such a weird human trait. Right up there with oof. There are some internet friends where eventually you start calling them by their real name. And then there's times where it's like, na 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 son. Your name is Crispy forever. A relatable autism feel. Trademark. Which piece of my meal do I eat last? Which flavor will be the chosen one that will erase all others and prevail? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one. Boyfriend tells me I'm banned from fixing things around the house now. God forbid women do anything. We, as a company, are very dedicated to being diverse and hiring people from marginalized communities. Requirements. Master degree. Ugh, this too shall pass. But like, holy fuck! Hey, 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 don't cry. I went to Manu Island and none of your friends were there. 